Oh, hello. Uh, just opening the spice drawer because today is International Sandwich Sunday and we're headed to Trinidad and Tobago for doubles. Now, this requires us to make a flatbread, some curry chickpeas, so it's a little bit of a process. Let's get into it. All right, let's make the dough for our barra or flatbread, spiced flatbread, and it is spiced. We add to all-purpose flour turmeric, cumin, salt, white pepper, yeast, and a little bit of sugar for the yeast to feed on. Get that all mixed together. Now we gradually add in warm water. Man, you can smell the spices already. It's time to get in with the hands. Clean hands, of course. Now we uh, knead this for a minute or two in the bowl. Okay, now I'm gonna cover this and let it sit for an hour or two until it doubles in size. Now we're gonna make our curried garbanzo beans that is the filling for the doubles by starting off with some onions, garlic, and a boatload of spices, including curry powder, white pepper, thyme, allspice, cumin, smoked paprika, and nutmeg. We stir this together and cook for about two to three minutes. Now we add in the chickpeas, cayenne pepper, green onion, scotch bonnet or habanero pepper. I'm using habanero because that's what I could find. And stock. We stir this to combine and cook this for about 20 minutes to let it kind of stew down a little. Now we divide our ball into nine smaller balls. Let me just sort of uh, flatten them out. Now we fry our dough up and onto a rack to drain and cool a little. All right, now on one piece of fried bread, we put our curried chickpeas. Top that with another piece of fried bread. Okay, let's give this double a go. This is an explosion of flavor. First of all, you can't really taste the seasoning in the fried bread because the curried chickpeas have so much flavor going on. You taste all those warm spices. You definitely get a little bit of ginger. You also definitely get the habanero and the cayenne. The cayenne was optional. I don't know why I did it, but this is spicy. This is tasty but I do want to plus it up. I'm gonna add some mango chutney that I made uh, a little while ago. Um, I went ahead and posted that video on berries cooking again because I thought that would make this video too long. If you want to look at it, I'll uh, of course provide a link. Okay, let's give this doubles plus up with a little mango chutney. Go. The mango chutney has vinegar in it, has mango in it, has sugar. Also has a little bit of jalapeno, so it's also bringing a little more heat, but it is bringing a little sweetness, a little tang that's kind of offsetting the curry a little bit. This is amazing. This is such a, an amazing explosion of flavors. Well, I gotta say the original doubles, uh, it's a bit of work. Um, this is probably not something you'd make at home uh, for one person, but man, just an incredibly flavorful dish between tasty fry bread. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give that, as a vegetarian sandwich, I'm gonna give that like a nine, plus up with the mango chutney, nine and a half. That is fantastic. The only thing I would like is maybe some sort of dairy to cool it down a little, but even then, I don't know. This is just a delicious sandwich. Definitely gonna finish that. Got more fry bread, so definitely gonna eat some more. And uh, yeah, I would make this again for a special occasion for a party or whatever, because it's just so good. All right, see you tomorrow.